our first big question today is what is a unit rate? Because unit rate and slope are very similar, and so this might be a review for you, but we want to make that connection between unit rate and slope. So a unit rate is just a rate or a comparison between two numbers with a denominator of one. So for example, um, when you go to the store, uh, you might see a sign that says bananas are two for four dollars, two for four dollars. And so you can write this as a rate or write it as a fraction, which is the same thing as writing it as a rate. You can do four dollars for two bananas. And I'm going to use B to stand for bananas here. B stands for bananas. Okay? And so this is an example of a rate. This is a rate. But it is not a unit rate because a unit rate has a denominator of 1. And so we need to simplify this fraction so that we get the denominator to be 1. So I'm going to divide the top and the bottom by the same number 2. Because I know if I divide 2 by 2, I'm going to get 1. So I'll get 1 banana on the bottom. And then 4 divided by 2 is 2 dollars. So our unit rate is 2 dollars per 1 banana. 2 dollars per banana or each banana costs 2 dollars. Let me write that. Each banana costs $2. So we can look at unit rates in a table, just like we can look at unit rates in a graph. And so I made a table on um, my x value is bananas, and my y value is price. And I put the information that we had. So we had two bananas for $4, and we need to add the rest of the information here. So I'm going to see how much does it cost for one banana, how much does it cost for three bananas? And how much does it cost for four bananas? So I already found out I divided this number by two. I divided four by two. And I found out that one banana costs $2. Okay? So if each banana costs $2, one banana costs $2, two bananas cost $4, three bananas would cost two, four, six dollars. And four bananas costs eight dollars. So every single time I'm multiplying by two. I'm multiplying the number of bananas by two and I'm getting the price. So the unit rate is that first value in the table. The first part of the table where you see the unit, the bananas, as one. And it gives you the y. So when x is equal to one, when x equals 1, you have your unit rate. So that part in the table where x equals 1 is where you're going to find the unit rate. So we can take this a step further, and I copied down the same table as before. I just shortened bananas to b this time. We can take that a step further and make find a unit rate from a graph. Remember I said that slopes and unit rates are very, very similar. And so what I can do is I can take this table and I can make it into a graph. So I'm going to plot each point. I'm going to start with this point. This is my x value. Bananas are on the x-axis and price is on the y-axis. So I'm going to go to 1, I'm going to go to 1, and up to 2, and make my first point. I'm going to check it off so that I know that I did it. Then my second point is 2, 4, my third point is 3, 6, and my fourth point is 4, 8. I need to remember to connect these line, or this line so that it shows my proportional relationship. This is a graph of the information from the table. Now I'm just going to see for fun what the slope of this line is. So I know that the slope is positive because as x is increasing, y is also increasing. And so I'm going to count the rise over run using triangles, and I'm going to use this point and this point. So I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1, 2. 
4 over 2 is my slope. Now I can simplify that, can simplify that into 2 over 1 or just 2. Because 2 over 1, anything over an, over 1 is equal to itself. So if I had 3 over 1, it's equal to 3. 4 over 1 is equal to 4. So since I have 2 over 1, it's equal to 2. So my slope here is 2. And so if we want to use this graph to answer the question, what is the cost per banana? We could do two different things. Okay, We could look at one banana, one banana, and find out what the cost is. Find out what the cost is, and the cost here is two. So we could do it that way. One banana costs two dollars. Or we can use the slope. Because this is a proportional relationship, x and y are always increasing by the same amount. The price is always going up by two dollars. It's always going up by that unit rate. And so our slope is the exact same thing as the unit rate. So if you have a problem that's asking you to find the unit rate, it's actually asking you to find the slope. Unit rate and slope are the exact same thing. Made with DoodleCast Pro.